What's going on guys? T-Mart here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Horizon 2. Check this thing out. This, my friends, is the Lamborghini Urus. It's U-R-U-S. I'm not sure if it's Urus or Urus or what it is, but uh, this is the new Lambo SUV coming out in 2015. Yes, you guys heard that correctly. A Lamborghini SUV and it's what we're gonna be using today and check out these wheels dude. Look how big those things are. This is one beautiful beautiful looking What a scumbag he seriously just ran right into me that is hilarious All right, cool. Anyway, we were able to unlock this car for free. We have a, um, a What's it called? Uh, sport utility heroes. We're gonna go ahead and Go ahead and do this one. We're gonna, ooh, nice. We'll be able to use our Cadillac Escalade ESV in the next episode too. But uh, yeah, we have a, a special like spell, special edition of the game that we got like a certain pack of cars for free. All so right. are we all ready let's for get this stuff. Trip? Destination one is Castelletta, down on the coast. This route has some of the best driving roads in the world. Make the most of them. Dude, holy crap! This is insane. I couldn't imagine having a Lamborghini SUV. This is badass. I love SUVs. I love trucks. I love cars that are practical. It would be so sick to have a Lambo SUV. Do you guys see what's going on with the rear view mirrors too? They're inside the car. Those rear view mirrors that are sticking off the side are actually, uh... They're cameras and they project it inside the car. This is insane, dude. I love this. How much are these things? Hold on, we're gonna pause this real quick. I'm gonna look it up. Lamborghini Urus Price. Uh, 100, oh, it's, it's coming out in 2016 between 150 and 200 grand is uh, the like suggested retail price. They aren't sure yet, but they're kind of kind of guessing there. Wow. I couldn't imagine paying that much for an SUV. But I, I don't know. I guess like Mercedes G-Wagons and stuff. Those get up near 100 or 100 plus depending on what you get in them. So I could see somebody paying for this. And this is a this is a freaking badass looking SUV, dude. Those big old rims, that super aggressive Lamborghini front. I'm sure it's got a mammoth engine in it. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so much fun to use. I'm pissed though. So here's the deal. Our Tesla that we spent $90,000 on, or 90,000 credits, that should have been free, or 120,000, whatever it was. And then our 2015 Mustang that we spent like 50,000 credits on should have been free. I guess it didn't like update and, I don't know. It didn't give me those for free though. I'm kind of pissed about that. We wasted some money there. But it's okay, we're gonna start saving up some money because I wanna start getting the super expensive cars. I wanna buy Gallardos, I wanna buy Aventadors, I wanna buy all kinds of stuff, so. We're gonna do this thing. Gonna make sure we keep winning, baby. Woo, look at that drift. Another E drift. Hell yeah, boy! Get out of my way. Woo! Ouch! Job. Let's get it, baby. Ah! All over the freaking road. We're gonna be able to muscle some people around in this thing, that's for sure. In 400 yards, turn right. Hit me drift. Woo! Ah! We did not get our tail end out like I wanted to there. Here we are, back in one of the very first cities we started in. You guys remember it out here? Let's get this thing popping.
Castelletto, but this is where we got right off the boat. We were fresh off the boat at the very start of the game. That's pretty cool. Everything comes back around. Here we go. Oh, we still got to check out our VW bus. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that thing. We cannot forget. I wonder if you can race in that. How badass would that be? Or at least just drive it around. A Sport Utility Heroes Championship. I'm really looking forward to this. We have a few cross-country courses planned to test your off-road driving. Choose a race to start this. All right. This one starts here and ends up all the way over there. Don't want to do that. This one ends over there. This one ends close to that one. That one ends there. Let's um. Let's go ahead and do this one because it ends right, like literally right next to the, the next race. Yards, so here we right. go. Lamborghini Urus, baby. I just can't get over how big these rims are. It surprises me. Those don't seem very practical for like performance. They look great. Oh, looks like we've actually got a challenge coming up on our, uh, right. our mini-map as well. We're going to be going right past it. You guys want to check it out? I'm down. Turn right. Wow, look at this. What? I'm just going to go straight through here. Where's this challenge at? Shoot, it's down below us. We did have to follow the GPS. Look at all these four utility vehicles all over the place. I can't wait to race an Escalade next. <laughs> that thing is going to be so fudging big. Oh my gosh. Alright, what's this challenge going to be? What type of vehicle is it? Ooh, it's yellow. Hello, sir. Oh, that's an XP board. Fast travel board. I mean, where's this car? Ooh, okay, it's easy. What do we got? Is that an old Firebird? Is that what I saw? We live classic racing in a Ford GT40. Wow, for some reason I thought that's definitely not a Firebird at all. I don't know what I was looking at, but here we go. Race to the destination, 4.3 miles. Two minutes and 15 seconds to do it. Dude, these cars here, the old Ford GT40s, these are, are like $9 million. Because they're such like classics and, and so sought after and so so many people want them. Nine million dollars for this car. Could you guys imagine? There's no way in hell I would ever pay that. Oh gosh. Trade and paint, baby. This thing sounds aggressive as hell, but I wouldn't pay 9 mil for it. I'd rather buy 18 Aventadors. At the roundabout, take the Woo! That was close. We're jumping the roundabout. I don't listen to you, GPS. Alright, looks like we got about a minute to go two miles, so we need to average 120 miles an hour through here, which is going to be pretty easy. You guys can see we're already going 160. As long as we don't run into anybody, we should be, uh, should be A-OK. -okay. Why does this feel like it's so much faster than we were going in the GTR? I guess the GTR just handles speed a lot better. We were going 200 and I could barely feel it. Woo! That was lucky. We would hit those. That might have been game over for our challenge. All right, half a mile in 15 seconds. This is actually going to be kind of tough. No, we're good to go. We got it, baby. That was not all that hard. Boom! Eight seconds left to spare. All right, good stuff. Now let's go race this Urus. I'm excited. I want to see what other type of SUVs we're going to be going up against. We know there's Escalades. What else are they going to have? We, don't, we haven't raced an SUV yet, have we? Except for that Bowler, but that doesn't really count. That thing was ludicrous how fast that was. Hopefully those aren't available for our opponents. Alright. 
There's another Escalade we saw. And then also, another thing about this Urus, oh gosh, Tom, I'm gonna be racing you in that. I'm not all that uh, intimidated, if so. But another thing about this Urus is this is the only color it comes in. You can only get it in this like candy red. You can't get it in Lambo yellow or anything like that, which makes me kind of sad. If I was getting this car, I'd probably want it in Lambo yellow. Nah, I'd probably, I'd probably wrap it in matte black for sure. Maybe some like yellow calipers or red calipers. Lime green calipers. Something crazy to offset it, but. Ooh, there's another Urus right there. Trying to race each other. Here we go. Race event. Let's go ahead and sign up. Almost there. Crawling, crawling. Boom, there it is. Pianura something. Here we go. Let's get it, baby. I'm excited. Sports Utility Heroes. Cross Country. Let's see. Oh my gosh, those rims are so big. It's insane how big those rims are. <laughs> oh, there's a BMW SUV. Lots of Cadillacs, lots of Beamers, and Lambos. It's pretty much all we're working with. There's Tom and his Mercedes. Solid. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here and let's go race this thing. See you guys at the finish line, all my adoring fans. All right, here we go. Coming through here, doing some off-roading, I forgot. These SUV ones, you don't stick to the road at all. It's 110% off-road. Oh gosh, we gotta check one over here, Trev. Get over to that thing. Woo! Okay, starting off relatively strong here. Nice job, that was a beautiful turn, Trez. Let's head this way. Woo, getting some air, baby. Oh man, oh man. That's a barn, don't hit the barn. All right, we're in fourth place. There's Tom, Tom, why aren't you in your little Mercedes thing? It was not intimidating at all. Why'd you change, huh? Huh, bud, you hear me talking about you? All right, here we go. Wow, look at us. Taking shortcuts and shits. <laughs> we got a clean racing bonus as we run into somebody's back. Oh gosh. Shit. Go. Go, go, go. 48% pro. Woo! He just saved my life. He just saved the race right there. We're going to be able to catch up to this guy now. Oh gosh. Why are we getting that much? Tom, stop taking my damage points. Go. Visual Rhino, you are all mine, baby. I own you. Over this way. Try to take the inside on him. Oh gosh, 74% progress. We're still in second. We gotta get this first place finish. Here we go. We're good. We're good. We're gonna take it. Oh gosh! Get back on the road! Woo! No way! Too clutch, baby! Too clutch! Oh man, that was so close. We ran into that tree. I thought that was gonna be it for us. Then somebody hit us from behind and gave us that extra little boost we needed to take us into first place. All right, so our first win with the Lamborghini Urus. Nice work. That's what I like to see. Got ourselves another wheel spin. Gonna make sure we use that as soon as we can. Hopefully we'll get a, a sweet new car or something. Man, I wish you could sell cars in this game. Unfortunately you can. I looked it up and got the official answer. It's unfortunate. You couldn't in the last Forza Horizon either, but all the other Forzas before that you could. 75,000, AKA 150,000. That's what I like to see. That's a, uh, that's a pretty big one right there. Okay, where do we want to go next? We want to go, let's go here. Turn we're going to do this race next. We're going to go ahead and flip so. a Yui right here. Uh-oh, barn find rumor. It sounds like there might be a classic car left abandoned in a barn. 
Check him out. In cool. Yards, keep right. We might have to go check that out. Shoot. Damn it! I was trying to take a shortcut, and we can't take the shortcut. I need a way in here. Somebody give me a way in here. Stupid guardrails. Can knock over everything else in this game. Why can't you knock over guardrails? Turn around when it is All right. safe to do so. There we are. Now can we go up this way? We should be able to do this one. Nice work. In 200 yards, turn left. I ain't turning left for nobody. Going straight here. Uh oh, there's an XP board out here. Might as well go smash this thing. Where's that? Right here? Woo! 7,500, not bad. Alright. Hillside Cross Country. Let's do this thing, baby. Let's finish it out strong. Let's put ourselves in a good position to race with that, uh, that Escalade, because I've got a. A bad feeling it's gonna be pretty slow, but we'll see um we'll see what happens. Here we go. Castelletto Sports Utility Heroes Cross Country. We are gonna be using the Urus again. What a menacing car. Goodness, that thing's terrifying. Gonna be in the Urus again. This time we're inside the cockpit, and this is a uh, pretty important race this championship. Next up, we're going to be using that uh, the Escalade in the next um, next episode, and I've got a feeling that that's not going to be the quickest of the quick cars. So it's pretty important that we do well here, and, uh, and make sure we put ourselves in a good position to, uh, to win this thing. So here we go. Woo! Cutting it close to that tree, but we're alright. Getting a little bit physical up in here. But we're in an SUV, and that's what we're supposed to do. Nice drive, Trev. Muscle our way into third place. Where's the next? Oh gosh, next checkpoint's over here. Yo! Cutting it close on those trees. Nice work. Second place. Come on, first. Alrighty guys, here we go. The uh, the second race of the day in our Urus. Let's see what she can do. She's a pretty slow starter, but it's all about the way you finish. That's what she said. This race is actually pretty important. We're going to be using that uh, the Escalade next, since we got that one for free as well. And it's the same class of cars. I'm a little bit nervous about that. I feel like that one is, uh, is not going to be the quickest of the SUVs. So I, I think it's pretty... Um, Pretty important that we do well here and put ourselves in a good point position. So here we go. I'm a little bit physical up in here, but that's all right. That's what SUVs are for. It's all about getting down and dirty, baby. There we go. Slide into those trees. Woo! Guy Beamer. Where's the next one? Oh gosh. Where's that? Ah! We're going through here. No! Oh, cutting it close. Come on, get around this guy. Mr. Mercedes. I don't like any of your kind. Woo! Look at that. Beautiful turn. Puts us into first. Oh, gosh. Pay attention, Trev. Oh! Where are we going? Where's the next check? I can't see the checkpoints. Holy shit. This race is insane. Where's the next one? Over here? All right, we're headed this way. Nice. We are flying right now. Oh! <gasps> are you shitting me? Oh! We made it! Holy crap! <laughs> no way! I don't think my butthole has ever puckered that hard before. That was terrifying. Watching like a slow-mo wreck, I could totally imagine that happening in real life. Oh my gosh, that like moment of just where everything slows down and you're just floating through the air to your death. What the hell is going on? 
<laughs> we're staring at the ground of the sky after this race, and we're still coming out with a very solid win. That's what I like to see. Good stuff, baby. All right, so in the next episode, I'll see you guys in our Escalade. It should be a good time. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys there.